welcome back to hi-fi tech and entertainment channel to the sap capm series in my previous videos i covered a lot of foundation and advanced topics in sap capm like domain modeling service implementations and how to configure the application in your fury elements and authorizations and how to use the event handlers and more so after all those videos i received a lot of questions from many of you especially around some of the key areas that is localization using i18 files in the capm and how to use the deep inserts for the complex entities and the main part is custom event handlers and authorizations and how to use the analytical pages of the capm application so in this mini series i will cover you all this in detail so let's start with the localization first in today's video i am going to cover how to define the localized fields in your cds model and how to set up the i18 properties files like english german on all the translations and finally i will show you the real time in the bas system and i will create a test file to test the all the translations so by end of the videos you guys will know exactly how to make your sap capm supports the multiple languages in a clean and scalable way so without wasting your time let's jump into the concept of localization in sap capm you guys know how to create a project multiple ways we can create it right so without choosing the template simply i will create a project directly so it will take very less time to jump into the translation concept so i open my pro projects path now create a project cds in initial dot i made in translation right but i will choose a name like localization yeah so now my seed my capm project is ready here we need to create a file for that this is the domain modeling you guys know here we will write the schema.cds file so now i will choose some namespace dot bookshop yeah now define the entity entity name books here you need to define the fields first one i will choose integer next title some bookshop name then stop yes that's it now my domain modeling is ready now let's jump into the service implementation i think you guys know how to create a service implementation so without wasting your time he, this is the folder contains the backend service of the application and within this the application business logic and data modeling and apis we all define it here how to define first just calling this the namespace of my bookshop yeah from maintaining something like my here the path we need to maintain correct slash yeah i want to load this right so next how to create a service is here we need to define the service name i will maintain some proper catalog service here we need to call the entity books then here my dot if you give space control space it will show you things directly so both will be the same yeah oh. 
oh, okay here it is wrong guys yeah now it's correct now alias means we need to maintain as right yeah done then let's jump into that application place so what do you need to write localization so now our domain modeling is ready and service implementation is ready so before running the application the first step what we have to do is npm install once you maintain this it will support the next what we need to maintain is npm install at the rate sap slash cds so if you maintain this it will generate the all dependencies of the commands then if you want to create a sql database for this entity we will use a command like cds cds compile db slash this schema name dot cds iphone to yes if you maintain this if you see here the table structure is create created so what this is is it it if you use this command cds compile that folder name iphone 2 sql means it's generate a sql ddl script for the domain modeling contains with the file named of our schema.cds file in the db folder of the capm project so this executes the command directly root directory of the project so if you use this you can see the the table creation what fields will be there if you see for this top title the length the string it we taken right so the length is 255 for this the length is 255 so this is the one of the new thing i just want to add you here now in case if it is not supported what you have to do is first run this command npm install at the rate slash cds then it will support all the cds dependencies then you need to run the cds compile db dot this is the schema file what is the name you maintain here that one we need to call it here iphone iphone 2 sql so this is the way to generating the dtl files of our capm application next what is the way to test the application just cds watch already this port is already used if you want to terminate this application port what you have to do is control c once you click on the control sorry control plus control shift plus c oh let's zoom in ah, if you click on control c this port will be terminated then you can do your new things otherwise if you don't know how to do it just if you click on enter the port will be terminated then what it will do is it will generate a new port yeah see it's generated the new port first let's run the application now this is the path books if you see there is no data here now what we have to do is we need to maintain the dummy data right for that let's open the new terminal how to open the new terminal you guys know if you click on plus it here it will open otherwise right click terminal the new terminal will open both will be the same so if you see the path is it in the projects but our application is the localization road right? let's jump into the path localization yes now the project is it here how to create a csv files you know cds add data if you use this command your csv files will be generated if you see here i have generated only one csv file now the magic will happen for the localization if you want to maintain it translations for the capm application the first step what we have to do is in which field you want to maintain a translation for that you need to write a localized string that's it if you use the localized string what it will happen is for this particular field the translation will supports for all the multiple languages so now if i do cds add data if you see the interesting part here is that 
text.csv file is generated or manually also you can create this file by right click new file the same way you can create it but the interesting part here is if if you use localized property here defaultly if you run series add data directly it will generate this translation files now if i maintain the translations for these two things two fields i want to maintain the yeah now the after this if you use same command what it will do is newly the proper structure will create it here automatically and the fields also will create it here In, if you see here now title field is the only there i maintain localized for this it's not there we can add it like this comma add that's it two ways will be the same so that's how we need to maintain the structure first we need to maintain the data for this id some books name fury bookshop is nothing but bookstore i will maintain stocks i the quantity i will maintain it 10 then go to the translations here if you see the difference of this file and this file here we have only the whatever the fields i maintained in the schema file that fields is there if you go to the books.translation.tsv file here the extra property added for the local this is nothing but which language you want to maintain translation that is what if you maintain en means it's an english de means germany es means spanish that all translations you will get it here now the the same data we need to maintain here just remember this if it is not proper data it won't take that one so my english i maintain the same now i want to maintain it germany for the keyword of all right yes so for in german i will i want to see what's the keyword english to german will translate it here fury only maintain it as in some bookshop yeah this thing we will maintain it here this is fury only we got it right fury comma the bookshop is this now if you see it's an english and german when I run the application again here, just reload it, you can see the English data. Two ways we can test it here. After this, we can maintain SAP iPhone language equal to English or something. Otherwise, the proper way what we can maintain is we'll create a test folder and we'll test that scenarios. For that, what we have to do? Select the application, create test.http yes here we will maintain the translations so how to maintain the translation you guys know right first we will copy this url here go back and copy this url and paste it here so right here first i will maintain default First, I will maintain a default. It will be English, right? So, HTTP slash localhost colon this port name. We need to copy this here slash or data slash v4 